stronger choice for you. Hyperbarics. Doctors call it a groundbreaking treatment that's now helping military veterans right here in our own backyard. Doctors say hyperbaric oxygen treatment can help with PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. Western's Marley Martinez takes us on an inside tour of one of these chambers as she follows the first set of Navy SEALs undergoing treatment in the villages. You're now at pressure. Alrighty then, team. We are at depth. I'm going to come around and get our O2 on. What you see there on your screen may look like a group of people on an airplane, but they're actually going for a dive, as doctors at Aviv Clinics in the villages call it. In these seats are some retired Navy SEALs who suffer from PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. Doctors say the treatment they're getting inside this hyperbaric oxygen chamber will help heal them like Julio Fitzgibbons. He served for over 30 years and was deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. I got off my last deployment in 2020 and I was stuttering, having a lot of issues cognitively. I couldn't remember short-term, long-term from names to location to where I'm going or who's who. A lot of my SEAL friends told me, hey, you need to go get help. Julio tells me that's when he discovered he had a traumatic brain injury or TBI. We've breached so many doors. We've blown up so many things that I, I could never point, pinpoint to one specific thing. It's just a multitude of years of just training, not just the wars, the training just to get to that, to go to war causes a lot of the issues too that, you know, they don't look at. What were some of the main symptoms? I was happy as hell, but I was dying inside. It was just a blackness in my soul that just made me so depressed and so sad that it drove me to the point where I put the gun in my mouth, which was a hard part. And a friend of mine saved my life by called me at the right time and got me treatment initially, and then got me. they got me out here. Chris Sinog came here after discovering last year that he had a massive brain injury to 70% of his brain. The doctor said, I don't even know how you're doing basic function. He compared my brain to a linebacker in the NFL. Chris served in the military for 20 years as a medic and lead sniper instructor. In fact, he put the SEALs sniper manual together. One of the big things is shooting shoulder fired weapons. Every time you shoot that, it's right next to your head and it's a major concussive event uh, that just keeps happening, you know, for, for me for 16 years. That's how Chris tells me he got his TBI, which has taken a major toll on his work. I'm retired Navy SEAL Chris Sinog, the author of Navy SEAL Shooting. He's a firearms instructor. More than 200,000 people follow his YouTube channel. Make sure that your arm is in line. You know, I really do love doing it, um, and I haven't been able to, to do that. That's what landed both Chris and Julio in these seats. In the Villages, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. And coming up at 6.15, Marley will sit down with the doctors behind the treatment and with the veterans about the importance of getting